Hello, 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 Ascenders. Okay, I believe I am live. I believe I'm live. Good morning. Hello, Ascenders. Hi. Okay, here we are. Another lesson in enrollment. How exciting is that? The reason why it is so exciting to talk about enrollment is because enrollment is the lifeblood of your business. Enrollment is the fire of your business. Enrollment is the thing that will allow you to stay in business. It is the heartbeat of our business, and that's why it has to be heart-centered. Right? You guys with me? So when you're here this morning, I have something on my lip. Sorry. <laughs> when you're here this morning, please make sure you comment. I've noticed that our participation, Megan and I have noticed that our participation on these lives here in this group have gone down. And that's concerning because this, this information is valuable. It is crucial to you showing up, participating, asking questions in real time and picking our brain. It's an opportunity for you to continue to grow your business. So can I please get a recommitment from everyone who plans to put this time in their calendar and be here with us? We want to know. Hi, Annalisa. Good morning, sister. Okay, so today is a beautiful topic. It is my favorite thing to talk about. There was a time in my life where I hated sales. I thought it was the worst thing on the planet, and it would literally make me sick to my stomach. Have you guys ever felt like that? Annalisa, have you ever felt like that? Yeah. Now it feels like the biggest opportunity to be in service that I can possibly do in my day, and that's why I do it every day. I am on enrollment calls every day. I am in an enrollment conversation every day, and so is Megan. So what I want to share with you today is I want to get right to it because um, the benefit of having coaching and working with coaches that are constantly on the search for growth and to constantly be students is because we learn from our mentors. And, and let me just say, um, I, I had a lesson this weekend in a refresher in sales and in follow-up. And you guys know I always say that the fortune is in the follow-up because I'm follow-up queen. Like there's, there, I, I, I will venture to say until someone tells me do not contact them again, I will contact them <laughs> because I'm invested in their vision at that point. I know that they have a big mission and it is my job to be an in integrity to help support them and stand for them. Does it make sense? Okay, great. All right, so now I want to share with you what happened to me is I got a little refresher in a follow-up system that I want to share with you. It's a five-step system to following up with people that you've had enrollment conversations with or touch points with, okay? And um, first, we're before we get into those five steps, I'm gonna review the first, the six C's of heart-centered enrollment. So do you guys remember the lesson that we sent out a couple weeks ago to review the six C's of heart-centered enrollment? It was a video that I did here live training in this, in this group about three or four months ago. And I had Leisha send it out to you guys again because it's so powerful. If you have not watched that video, please go watch it and then watch it again because the six C's of enrollment will help you strategically um, enroll and empower someone on the other side of the sales conversation or the call or the Zoom call to really get into and stay in their vision so that they can really step into their power and they can say yes because we're all in this battle of saying yes to ourselves all the time. We're all in this battle of committing to things. Even if we want them, we have this little voice in our, in our mind that holds us back. And so it's our job as service providers and coaches and people that are really standing in the world to pull people forward so they can get through that and commit to not being average and instead being extraordinary. Okay, because that is our position. So when we're on enrollment calls, that's what we're doing. When we're enrolling people, we're enrolling them in their vision for their life. Sales is when we're only focused on ourselves. And when we're only focused on ourselves, it doesn't become, it becomes disconnected. And that's when people check out. And that's when it feels pushy. And you get these things in your head because it's, you're making it about you instead of the person on the other side. Right? So when we can make it about only the person on the other side, it becomes enrollment, it's heart centered, and you're pulling them into their vision so they can stand up and take the next best step to really support their stand and mission in the world. Okay? Because when we're all doing our thing, we're all in our purpose, we're all on point, we're all standing for what we know is why we're here, is when the world gets better. So we get to be a part of that. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna review the six steps right now, and then I'm gonna ask you to go back and listen to that video. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the five steps of follow-up. 
um, that is crucial. So um, this is going to help you really stand for that person so that they know you love them. Because what would happen if you just got on this beautiful phone call with someone and then you ghosted them? Like you never checked up on them again. Like that just feels gross to me, right? I mean, I've had conversations with people where, you know, people are crying on the other side. And what happens if I just say, oh, they said no, goodbye. That, that doesn't feel good. Of course, I'm going to follow up with them and see how they're doing. Right. And so I'm going to teach you my five steps that I've adopted from some of my trainers and past sales enrollment strategists that have helped um, support me and my growth in this area. OK, you guys ready for that? All right. Let's go through the six C's real fast and then we're going to go into the five steps. So there's six C's of heart centered enrollment conversations. So when you are on an enrollment conversation with someone or a Zoom call with someone, the first thing is core. Core is number one. And the core part of the six step process is getting to their why. What is their big why? If you don't know their why, you don't know if you can be in integrity and support them, right? You want to know what their why is. Why are they doing this? What do they want? What do they want to create in their life? What is their vision? And honestly, when I connect with someone over their why and I get to the core of it, it's more than, you know, oh, I want to change the world. Okay, well, why? Okay, well, because I want my kids to grow up in a, in a better place. Okay, well, why? Right. Why, 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 why? You can't ask why enough. And when you finally get to that underlying why, that deep soul purpose why is when you can really stand for someone. If you don't know it, you can't. At least not in a heart-centered way. You might do in a sales way but not in an enrollment heart-centered way. That's the difference. Okay, step two is contrary. So this is something that's really interesting because what you wanna ask them then is if that is your why, if that is your vision, what is the opposing belief that stopped you from creating that vision in the past? What is the limiting belief, the contrary belief that stopped you from creating that in the past? You want to ask them that. And then you want to listen. Not listen with your mouth open, listen with your mouth closed. <laughs> and let them tell you. Let them tell you. Hi, Tisha. Good morning. All right, step three is you want to construct. So after now you know their deep why, after then you know the limiting belief and you can see where maybe you can help them identify that blind spot. At that point, you construct. You construct what you think would support them. This is not an offer. You're not making them your offer. You're constructing with them what you think would help them get to the next level or solve the problem they want to solve. Okay? Do not make an offer here. You are sharing what you think. The fourth step is to connect. You ask them, what did you love about what I just shared? And when you ask them that and you listen without interrupting, you're going to extract exactly what they want your support with. And now you know, and you write it down. Because the next step is to invite them and to ask permission to collaborate with you so that you can share with them how you feel your services can support them. Okay? You guys with me? I see a few comments, but not many. Let me know if you're still here. The last step is to create, and this is where you make them an offer. You say, great. You now know their vision. You know what has stopped them in the past. You have an idea about what they want support with with your services. You've already collaborated with them and asked them permission. And now you're going to make them a customized offer because they've already told you what they love about what you shared. So you're going to share with them that you're going to support them in the exact way that they just told you they love. Be flexible. Create an offer with them. That's what happens when you're working with clients that you care about. You serve and support them and meet them where they're at. You make them an offer and you zip your mouth. 
and you don't speak until they speak. And then, great. The next question is, how do you want to pay for this? How do you want to solve this investment? Do you want to do credit card or do you want to do bank transfer? How do you want to do that? Two choices. You give them to them. Do you want to pay in full? Do you want a payment plan? Two choices. They'll tell you. You then immediately send them a link, either via text or on the Zoom call. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's not salesy. It's simple and it's loving and it's generous and it's you standing for someone on the other side of the contrary beliefs, the limiting beliefs, the, the things that are their blind spots so that they can really step into their power. And then congratulations because you just did your job. Okay, does that all make sense, guys? Do you have any questions before we go into, hmm, love that question. What did you love about what I shared? Yes, number five is collaborate. So you're asking them permission, Annalisa, to collaborate with you to create an offer, to create something that would help them, support them. Okay. All right, okay, we're gonna move on. So now we're gonna move on to some new material. Um, and this material is really powerful. So I want everyone to grab a piece of paper because I'm going to actually ask you to do that this, this week for your soul assignment. You're going to practice these five steps this week. This is your soul assignment. So get out a pad and paper. And then Carmen, if you're still here, can you write these down in the chat, please, for me? These are the five steps to creating fortune in the follow-up. <laughs> And follow-up can kind of seem masculine sometimes, so I kind of like connect, connection, touch points, you know, things like this. Um, but for me, when I was one of my mentors and some of the masterminds that we're in, this is a strategy that really works well. And so um, I've heard people ask me, well, I've, I've are, I mean, isn't it going to be pushy if I keep following up with them? No! That's the most ridiculous thing you can say. That's about you, and that's sales. When you've made it about you, about them liking you or not, you've now taken out the heart of your enrollment. It's now about you instead of about them. So what I invite you to do is get out of your own way. This is, might be a blind spot of yours. And understand that when you are in connection with people, you are loving them. When you're following up with them, you're loving them. Imagine if we had, like I said, we had this great connected conversation. We were deep diving. You were telling me about your deepest, darkest fears, secrets, wants, dreams, and then I ghosted you and I didn't touch base with you just because you didn't say yes in that exact moment. That's not heart-centered. FYI. That's selfish. Just saying. If you need to be called out on that, there it is. You know me. All right, so does that land with everyone? Oh, good. Yeah, Tisha, it is inviting because it's it's honest, right? It's like, look, I'm standing for you, right? This is a beautiful, generous offer for you to get out of those limiting beliefs, to get out of that conversation that we have about not making commitments because we like to play small in this constraints of what we've created as, you know, where we get to stay in our life. And when you can help people break through that, that's not only transformational for them, but that it's transformational for the planet because the way that the planet shifts and changes is when we're all stepping into the highest vibration we can possibly access and it's our job to allow and to help other people step into that access point be a portal for them right okay so let's get ready to rock here's here's what I do and again I can't take credit for this um, this is something I was taught and then I've made it my own and now you get to use this framework to make it your own and I invite you to do that Okay, so this is what happens. I, I always say, after I have a conversation with someone, between that time, a conversation, a touch point, a connection with that person, between that time and seven days later, I will have at least 10 touch points, follow-ups with them. Now, someone that I learned from said 20. I feel good at 10, no less than 10. The magic typically happens at 10. There are studies that show it's upwards of 14. So here it is. I'm going to share with you how that happens. You guys ready? So number one, you have a conversation. So how many of you have had enrollment conversations this week? If you have, put a number one. If you've had an enrollment conversation in any form, put a number one in the chat. So what I want you to do is I want you to go back and see all the people over the last seven days you've had enrollment conversations with or touch points with. 
And what you're going to do now is you're going to re-engage them. You're going to reconnect with them. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to ask them a question. So it would go something like this. I'm going to share, I'm going to pull back the curtain. I'm going to share exactly with what, what I do. And a lot of you have gone through this process with me and now you're here. Now you're here getting out of your own way. Now you're here because I did this. Now you're here and now you're thinking about the next level of your life. Now you're here quantum leaping your business like Tisha has. Now you're here creating programs like Annalisa just did. Now you're here because I did this for you or Megan did this for you. So this is what you get to replicate. You ask them a question. So Carmen, can you write this down? Number one is ask a question that's gonna get a response. And it's a heart-centered question because you've actually had a connection with this person and you care. So the first thing you say is, hey, hey, Annalisa, how are you? How is your weekend and how is your daughter doing with her foot? Thanks, Jen. My weekend's great. It's great to hear from you. My daughter's doing better. Thank you. Wonderful. Hey, I wanted to follow up with you, Annalisa, and ask you, you know, how was your... Uh, how was your vision for this quarter of your business? Did you reach that financial goal? And Alexa says, actually, Jen, I didn't. So step one, ask a question. That's one touch point. Step two, ask another question that is service related, meaning your business related. Got it? Number one and number two. Number one, ask a question, reconnect with your client. Number two, ask a service or a business related question that you know relates to them, obviously, because you care. I really care if Annalise is making money. I really care about her daughter, <laughs> right? Ask questions. Number three, the person's gonna say to that question, and in our situation, you know, really, maybe I haven't made money this, I didn't meet, reach, my, reach my quarterly goal. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing that with me. This is if they say no. If they say no, you then say to them, what do you think got in your way from creating that result in your life? If they say no, you say that. And then you say to them, here's a blind spot I think I see. Number four is identify the blind spot for them in the conversation and offer a quick bit of value that could support them in solving a part of that issue, the blind spot that you might see. Number five is saying, hey, you know what? I think because this has supported you, I think it'd be great if I could just hop on a quick call with you and share a little bit more about how I think you can close the gap in your business and they pick up the phone and they call you. And you say to them, hey, I see that you're not creating the result you want. These are a few things I think you could do. And on the other side of that, how would it feel for you to have my support for the next 6, 12, 18 months? So that I can walk you through the step-by-step -step process and hold you accountable to your vision. And you do your six C steps to heart-centered enrollment right then and there. Okay, everybody with me? That's follow up. Now, here, that's ideal follow up. Here's if they say yes, they created the result that they wanted in their life. Here's if they say yes. So on step three, if they say yes, I did, I reached my goal, you celebrate them, you celebrate them, and you say to them at that point, what are your next steps to quantum leaping your business life, whatever the situation is. They say, I don't know, or whatever it is that they say, you give them another value add and say, hey, can we hop on the phone really quick? Because I have a few more things I wanna share with you that I think would really support you. They say, yes, you get on the phone, you go through your 60s again. Ta-da! Okay, thank you for telling me, Annalisa. I'm so glad that she's walking again. I've been thinking about her and you. 
So, Tisha, you love this? Isn't this beautiful? Okay, great. I'm so glad that you found this. This is now, again, this is something that I've learned. I cannot take credit for this. I have made it my own, and I invite you to make it your own, but there's five steps to this. It's super simple. If you keep it simple, if you get in your head and you get into your ego about, what if I sound too salesy? You're not about the heart. Every time you have that conversation in your head, you get to reframe it and be about them instead of about you, which is what we like to do as humans. We like to make it about us, but it's never about you, ever. <laughs> Newsflash, I learned this the hard way. <laughs> I ran my first business thinking it was all about me. <laughs> it didn't turn out well. <laughs> so that's the difference between sales and heart-centered enrollment. Does that make sense, you guys? I love that you're here commenting. Uh, thank you, if you're still here, let me know. Um, Great, thank you. Okay, so, so this is what I want you to do. Um, I want you to now go back and look at the conversations, connections, uh, people that you've connected with about your business over the last seven days. And I want you to utilize this strategy until it's exhausted. That is your soul assignment for the week. I want you to utilize this strategy until it's exhausted. And what exhausted means is if the person says, please don't contact me again, that's exhausted. Now, say those people are like, oh, I can't get on the call with you right now, or it's not a really great time. No problem. I'm going to follow up with you again in a couple of days. And then you do. And you do the same thing. Hey, Annalisa, how are you? I'm so glad your daughter's doing better. Are you doing anything fun for the summer with her? Yes, I am, actually. We've got her in the summer camp. Or, or yes, we're painting all summer. I happen to know that Annalisa is just painting with her daughter, right? Wonderful. And then I say again, I know you haven't made the results that you wanted in your business. I really feel this is the blind spot I think I could help you solve. I have a few more value points to add to that. Can I give you a quick call? It's that simple, you guys. And if it's a good time for her, she's going to say yes. If it's not, just say, great. When is a better time for you? Do you have tomorrow at this time or do you have tomorrow at this time? It's that simple. It really gets to be that simple. Okay, any more questions? Yes, yes, yes. So if you notice, Annalisa, the 10 touch points there is I asked a question, I asked a service question, right? I came, we came back with a win, if it was a win or if it wasn't. I gave them a value add tip Ask them to get on the phone, that's five. If they say no, you do it again, another five, within seven days. Does that make sense? So that's my strategy. And at that point, I give it about another two weeks. And then I let them go and then I just touch base again. I do it again with them. And I have them on, I don't have my board in here right now, but I have them on a big, um, you know those big sticky boards that I love? I have all of them there. All of my hearts are there. And I have a color-coded system. <laughs> That's how it works in my brain. Spreadsheets are great. Megan uses that manifestation sheet that you all have access to. And for me, I, like, I have to have visual color. It's just my brain doesn't operate unless I have that. So that's how I track things. And I never leave anyone behind. And that is the way that I built the foundation of my business. That is the way that I built the foundation of my sustainable business was consistently doing enrollment heart-centered conversations and created fortune in the follow-up. And believe me when I tell you, it will take people follow-up, 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 follow-up to actually say yes. Only about one out of 10 people will say yes immediately. And those are usually people that are like me, they're sacral authority, human design. <laughs> There's not many of us though. Most of us are emotional authority human design and they take time. And a lot of women are what are called um, promoting supporters. So they need to be tended to, nurtured and supported to feel loved enough to say yes. So I've learned in my business that it takes follow up to really support someone at the highest level. Does that make sense you guys? Do you have any more questions? 
would you share this board in the group? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, of course. So what happens, so what I'll do, Annalisa, which will be really fun for you guys to see, I'll track what we do. Um, I don't have it here. I'll track what we do for the Money Summit. So what I do is different than Megan's process. So when we have our, this is, you guys are going to think I'm nuts. Is ready to think, you guys are going to be like, Jen is losing her mind. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is how I manifest. And I'm telling you, this is how you do six figure launches. I'm just saying. My board goes up every single name that enrolls in our summit. I'm not even joking. If we have 300 names that enroll in our online free summits, they go on my board. And there's a heart around them. I'm not kidding. When they come to the summit, another heart goes around them when they're live. When they chat in the summit, another heart goes around them. I'm serious. And now that we have, a, we have a sales part of our team, those hearts that are circled three times go to our sales team and they connect with them in the same process. <laughs> Pretty simple. And that's how I do my enrollment strategy. Now, the hearts that don't show up, they get follow-up emails. The hearts that are circled twice, they get follow-up, two follow-up emails with an invitation to get on a call. Does that make sense? Good. I'm so glad that you love this. Good. So what we'll do is I'll track mine. I'll show you guys what happens with our summit. So two or three days before the summit, I start writing all the names on my board right? And then as they come in, we start writing their names down. I don't write emails down. I write people's names with hearts around them because everyone that comes to that summit is saying yes to us. They're saying yes to us. They're taking time out of their life to be with us. That means that I am now part of their journey, whether they like it or not. <laughs> this is why I think people think I'm nuts. I'm enrolled, right? And I will never, because they're part of our email community, they're gonna get follow-up, follow-up, follow-up email. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up email. Because I'm not gonna leave them behind. That's my commitment. That's why your email sequences on the back end of your work, your workshops, your masterclasses, your free summits are so crucial. It's love. It's love. It's showing them that it's not a one and done, that you love them and you're standing for them. And you're gonna be there for them. Don't play small. Show up for these people that say yes to you. It's a big deal. It's a big responsibility. And you're leaders. You stand under the sign that says, don't stand here. <laughs> right? All of us entrepreneurs were like, we stand under that sign. We're the ones that are like, we got this. Then go get it. Go get it today. Your homework is to follow up with all the people you've been in connection with in the last seven days in the same format. And I wanna hear results. If you want practice doing your 6C enrollment conversations, hook up with the sister here and practice. Enroll them into their vision. Enroll them into your program. Practice, practice, practice. Before I made enrollment conversations, I probably had 15 practice conversations with my mastermind community when I first started doing this. Don't be shy. Connect with your sisters, have them support you. If you don't have a seat at the table, bring one. <laughs> bring one. It's my motto. It's what I teach my girls. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. I'm going over to pull cards too in the free group. So come join me. And then if you are in the mastermind, um, either the mastermind or a one-on-one -on -one client of Megan and ours, um, you are have access to Jessica Perez BB today at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. You should have gotten an email. She is a master trainer, one of our mentors, and um, she's coached me before. She's amazing. She's incredible. She's done a lot of work with Brendan Bouchard, and she's one of his master trainers. She has been in Forbes. She's been in Entrepreneur Magazine. She's incredible. And as part of our commitment to you, we keep bringing people in that can support you in different unique ways to help you keep growing your business. This is the beauty of being in the mastermind, saying yes to yourself, being a one-on-one -on -one client, is we are committed to bringing in our community so that we can continue to educate you. And we're committed to our education so we can share with what, like I just did with you, things that we learn. We love you. Keep learning. Keep growing. Keep busting through glass ceilings and keep standing for your clients by enrolling them in their vision in a heart-centered way. I love you, we love you, and I'll see you in the free group.